Our people are our number one security tool. We need families, if there's something wrong, to share with us so we can try and get resources for kids that might need it. From the passage of the safe, warm, and dry bond to additional investments in safety, APS is improving its ability to provide a safe and welcoming school environment. APS has been working closely with law enforcement, first responders, emergency management personnel, and school safety experts. So this is for Alpena High School for students returning to the building during the daytime. This will be the door that they use. They'll have to um, use the speaker, um, let the person at the desk know who they are and um, where they're returning from. APS is enforcing the text line resource OK to say. If you see something, say something. OK to say is offered through the state of Michigan. And it is, a, um, you can text to OK to say, you can go to the website to OK to say, you can report any concerns. All staff must wear identification badges while at work. Badges must be prominently displayed. All visitors must have a guest pass on while in APS school buildings. And in grades 6 through 12, backpacks will remain in lockers during the school day. Students may carry a string bag, small purse, satchel, or laptop case. We're a school. We want to be welcoming to families. We want to be welcoming, welcoming to kids. We, we don't want to feel like a prison. Um, we don't want to go to the point where we're doing uh, bars and metal detectors because then you stop being a school, a place where people learn, and you turn into a place where uh, um, security is the only concern. APS wants to make the community aware of expectations that will be in place when students, staff, and visitors return to the district. In Alpena, Kayla Smith, WBKB News.